anybody know the difference between a linear and a residual income? Why don't you tell us, Ricky? A residual income is when, even when you stop working, yeah. you still have money coming in. Wow, what's a linear income? You work, and then you get money, and then if you stop working, you don't get money. Oh, wow, so like a job kind of thing. Yeah. Or you have to <laughs> trade your time for money, X amount of hours, X amount of dollars, no hours, no dollars. Exactly. And you're saying residual income, you can make money while you're sleeping. Absolutely. Wow. You guys know that some people are so broke, they don't even think residual incomes exist? Do you guys realize that the people that make money in this business, all they do is they drink, share coffee with people, and teach others how to do the same? And it's that simple. It really is, guys. It's not any harder than that. So those of you that are here tonight, you truly are in the right room. You truly are at the right place at the right time, if it's the right time for you in your life to take a serious look at a business. Um, however, when you get out of this room, you go back to America, where 99% of America works for 1% of America, where 1% of people control all the money and the wealth in this world, and where they want to keep having you work for them. They want to keep making sure that you build their dream instead of going out and building your own dream. So what do we get taught in this country? Go to school, get good grades, so you can get a good job. Um, what does job stand for, Jesse? Um, just over broke, just, just, yeah. over broke, just out of bed, sitting then, being taught, being told what to do, when to do it, when you can pee, when you can take a vacation, how much you're worth, and oh, if you're still needed anymore, because why the average American by the time they reach the age of 30, has how many different jobs or careers? Ten. Well, Seven. Seven. Okay. And statistics, who knows, but it just gives you an idea. So, I mean, make sure to listen to Hoffman when he comes out here, guys, because he's truly here for you. He's already making a residual income. He's doing just fine. And our team creating greatness, now that we've created greatness in our own life, what do we want to do? Create greatness in others' lives. We want to create greatness in other people's lives. And the more we do that, what happens? The more we create greatness in our own life. Zig Ziglar, has anybody heard that man? <laughs> Zig Ziglar says, you help enough people pay their bills, and your bills go away. You, get enough, you help enough people get what they want, and you can have whatever you want in return. If you guys can resonate with, with those quotes, I mean, you guys are going to absolutely love this. And if you can't, and if this is a waste of your time, feel free to leave at any time. Just try to do it in a respectful manner so that um, you don't, you know, disrupt everyone else who's really looking for change in their life, who really wants, you know, who really wants to be somewhere else a year from now, two years from now. Because I see a lot of people doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And they like want different results. They expect different results. But yet they're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Trying to get a job. Trying to get a raise. And what's the definition of insanity, guys? Insanity. What's the doing definition the of that? Doing the same. What's doing your name, sir? Michael. Michael. Go ahead. Doing the same thing, uh, doing the same thing multiple times, expecting a different result. Guys, give Michael a hand of applause. Alright guys, I could talk for all night, but I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys, nobody's better at this than the man I'm going to bring up here tonight. He literally knows how to present this opportunity on a top 1% level, which we'll talk to you guys about after the meeting because that's kind of part of our um, vision statement, mission statement whatever you could want to call it. We, we have a message, and, and part of that message is putting in top 1% effort in every walk of our lives. So what does that mean? Whether you're opening up the door for someone, whether you're talking to your spouse, girlfriend, or parents, you know, whether you're at the gym, at school, doing your homework, we want to get A's, right? Mm -hmm. It's not that hard. If you put in top 1% effort, if you don't, then of course, you know, it's hard. So, Michael Hoffman, brother, 
can you come up to the front of the room? Guys, I'd like you guys to stand up. Those of you guys who know how we welcome our leaders, go ahead and do it with me. Take it away, brother. Thanks, Mundo. Well, I'd like to thank all of you for showing up tonight. Um, as a good mentor of mine, Matty T says, 90% of life is showing up. 90% of sex, success is showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it, it, it's been my Monday, you know. Usually Mondays are yesterday, but today is my Monday, so I'm a little bit off. Um, three years ago, I was exposed to this industry, and it changed my mindset completely about business, completely about how you live life. A little bit of background about myself is I spent seven and a half years in the wrestling room. My goal was to go to college, to wrestle all the way through, and then you know hopefully find a good job right after that with a degree. And I ended up uh, going to nationals with a double hyperextension, which means both my elbows are screwed up, and I lost every D1 scholarship. Um, my dad couldn't afford to put me through college student loans I wasn't interested in. They didn't want to go in debt because we all know the debt crisis of student loans is almost that of the mortgage crisis. And I was introduced into an opportunity just like the one you're about to see today. And it affected me because I wanted to be able to do the same thing and take the same experiences because in wrestling versus any other athletic sport out there, there is no professional. There is no big top dollar ticket. You go to football practice, you go to college, you, you dream of college football to go to the NFL. You go through basketball, you go through tennis, you go through all that. At the end of the day, it's you and the other person on the mat and it's for your team. And so I, I saw something that I could affect a lot of people in two ways. One, in their personal life, and two, in their income. And I could affect it as fast as I could with as many people as possible. Because in this business, the sky's the limit. It's the bar you set, not somebody else, the bar you set. If I was going through school, everybody else set that bar for me. I had to go to school for 40, and, and to reality to reach something called the 40-40-40 plan. 40 hours a week for 40 years of my life to retire on 40% of the income that I couldn't live off to begin with. Um, a man that I have a lot of respect for that you're gonna see tonight um, Pat Welsh has put a perfect example of that into this business. You know, he's made a couple hundred million dollars in his own business and he chose to work with us in Gunna Life to create something that everybody could understand here. See, everything in life evolves, right? You know, companies evolve over time, right? But when was the last time that you saw people becoming a part of a revolution? Wow. When was the last time you saw somebody start a chain of reaction to affect everybody else's life? There are some people in the room that wear rum bracelet. Do you know why I wear two? Because I'm pulling up with my left and my right hand. Did you guys uh, understand what a one, two, and a three is? Somebody who wants to drink the coffee, get healthy. Right? Do you guys know people who drink coffee? <laughs> yeah. Is there like maybe, I don't know, 8,000 people and you're a multimillionaire, is there maybe 8,000 people in a 50,000 mile radius up here that drink coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they'd like to go to five bucks, sorry, Starbucks, or spend less than a dollar? Yeah? Do you think they'd like to get all this amazing nutrition that's inside our products, or, I mean, do people want to be healthy? Yeah. I mean, guys. When I saw this opportunity, I got so excited because I was like, all my friends, you know, don't wish they were sick. They like to be healthy. They're all broke and looking for more money, right? And we've got both here. It's, it's incredible. Um, so that's, that's a one. And then a two is somebody that just want to make a little bit of extra money, right? You like the <coughs> coffee. You maybe want to take advantage of the tax advantages, you know, 136 plus versus six as an employee. Uh, but you're not fully committed. And then a three, I mean, you want to start making a thousand a month and a thousand a week, and you want to climb and really make this a business. You're serious, not curious. You're an X package, one of our X packages. What is that? Like, do you guys see in the video? There's no fees, no 
there's no fees. It's free to join. All you do is pay for product. And if you want to have a serious business, wouldn't you say <coughs> it's fair that you need product? <coughs> You know, I mean, people are looking at starting McDonald's for $2.2 million as a franchise, and it'll take you three to five years to break even. Restaurants. I mean, nine out of ten businesses fail in America, right, Steve? First year. First another year. nine out of ten fail within the next five years. Uh, of those, another 95% don't even don't make it, no, 99% don't make it past ten years. I mean, and, and this is, I mean, this is the truth, guys. You're hearing it from a man who's made millions of dollars who has an extremely successful business and who knows what he's talking about and he's been through the ups and downs. What we're passionate about here with Gone Alive guys is the fact that little kids like us can get involved with no money because you can't pay more than a thousand dollars to get involved with Gone Alive. Even if you wanted to, you couldn't. And we can make rock star income. We can drive hundred thousand dollar cars. We can help our family. We own our own time. So, I mean, that's, what, that's the beauty about it, you know. That's where you'll, you'll hear about Chris and his entire GL, YPR that he's starting. Um, but yeah, guys, that's one, that's two, and then what's a three? Somebody who's serious, somebody who really wants to do this on a different level, on Steve's level, on Chris's level. I mean, the kid's 17, right, and he already makes a residual income. Isn't that incredible, guys? Yeah. Incredible. Whether he sleeps, whether he works, he's got money coming in every single week. And it... And it's climbing because every day he gets more what? Satisfied coffee customers. You guys think people will be drinking coffee 50 years from now? Oh, yeah. 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 Do you guys think Chris will have a pretty amazing residual income 50 yeah. years from yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, guys, um, I have to get to the four. Mm -hmm. And, and fours, are, fours are who I was three years ago. They have excuses. All right, guys? Excuses are like... <laughs> Assholes, everybody has one and they smell horrible. It's just the way it is, guys. If you make an excuse, you'll stay broke for the rest of your life. If you make an excuse, we don't really want to work with you. And guys, I mean, I've heard, you know, I don't have enough time. Well, ask yourself if what you're doing today is going to get you to where you want to go tomorrow, six months from now, a year from now, five years from now, right? When are you going to have time in your life? The reason we do this is why? So we can have all the time in the world. Because money is not everything in life. Nobody cares what kind of car you drive, what's in your bank account, what kind of house you live in. And all that really matters is living a happy life, right? And whatever makes you happy. But the people in this company are passionate about being able to spend time with their kids, being able to make sure that they don't have to go to daycare, being able to make sure that they get the education and the clothes and the pride, I mean, and everything, right? Because you can actually show up to their soccer game because you own your own time. Time is freedom, business, so forth. So that's what we're passionate about, guys. You know, some people are like, I don't have a thousand dollars. Well, that's nothing to be ashamed about, you know, but wouldn't it be amazing to take action so you're never, ever, ever in a situation like that ever again in your life? Or in your, you're in a situation where you don't even have a thousand dollars to invest in yourself and into a billion dollar business that can yield you amazing returns based on your efforts and skills. So, so those are fours, guys. And we don't give up on fours, right? But, I mean, we can only spend, there's only 24 hours in a day and we can only spend time with so many people. So our time is earned, not given. And we work with people who deserve it, not need it. And it's, and it's that simple. And I encourage you to apply the same philosophy to your business. Because being done this for three years, Hoffman's done it for four. And we didn't start making money right away, guys. We went through so many ups and downs, so many trials and errors. And have you guys heard of somebody who's done network marketing before? <coughs> have you guys heard that it doesn't work and nobody makes money in those things? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I really wouldn't listen to my dad's best friend that makes fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year at a bank, right? Because if you do what people do and if you say what they say, you're gonna get exactly what they have. Okay? I mean, you don't have to be smart to make money, guys. If somebody tells you you have to be smart to make money, I mean, chances are they don't have any, guys. Doesn't matter if you went to Harvard, Yale, Stanford. If you're not at the right place at the right time with the right people. I mean, best of luck to you.